Hi, welcome to RxMuscle.com. I'm your host, Ian Lauer. You are in the diner, a show where we help you build your best physique with quality nutrition so you look good, feel good year round. With us today is Tad the Diet Coach. Thank you, Ian. It's always a pleasure to be here and, and uh, to be on your shows, especially here at the diner. I'm looking forward to continuing to uh, share some of my knowledge with everybody else. Okay, well, it's time to get into giving some of that knowledge right now. Now, let's start off for our viewers here with macros. A lot of people talk about, oh, you got to eat your macros, right? right? What are they talking about? Well, basically, they're talking about there's two kinds of, uh, there's macronutrients and there's micronutrients. And we're talking about the macronutrients. These are the nutrients that, accept, that constitute all the calories in foods. They're, they're basically proteins, fats, and carbs. Uh, most, every, most everybody knows about carbs. They have a, a sense of, of carbs. Everybody's afraid to eat too much carbs or eat too much of this. Uh, mo, uh, but, those, but these are the three basic macronutrients. Uh, there's only one other one that most people forget, and that's alcohol. And we don't really include that too much because it's not something that's a normal staple for most of our fitness lifestyles. Most of our fitness lifestyles. So <laughs> some people it's included. But, <laughs> but for me uh, and my people and for my suggestions, it's never included um, as a regular basis. But um, essentially, your macronutrients uh, are there's essentially four calories per gram for proteins and for carbs, and there's nine, cal uh, nine calories per gram for fat, which makes fat the most dense from an, as ter in terms of an energy source and makes fat, uh, proteins and carbs the least dense, uh, about the same actually, but they're the least dense compared to it's, uh, less than half of, in terms of caloric density, the kind of energy that, that those nutrients give you, uh, you know, as opposed to fat. And it comes to proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Obviously, you mentioned the nine calories per gram for fat, four for each the carb and the protein. One thing that people get confused by and sometimes flusters them is getting a percentage uh, when it comes to how much protein percentage-wise versus right. carbs and fats. Sure. What would you say is ideal for good lean muscle and lean body? Well, in this arena, fitness lifestyle, because your body still has a particular energy needs, you definitely have to be able to architect your diet in such a way that supplies enough energy to provide you with energy from good, clean burning sources like carbohydrates and still be able to provide and not, not over, over uh, give too much of those nutrients so that you collect extra body fat. Most people, I, mean, I remember back in the 80s, and uh, so it was always low fat, low fat, low fat. Now it's low carb, low carb, low carb. So um, the ratios that I like for maintenance in the off season for general athletes, like physique athletes or bikini athletes or figure athletes in general, they're very, very similar in this respect, is about 50, usually I like 40, 40, um, 10 or 20, something like that, 40, 40, 20, something like that. 40% um, protein, 40% carbs, 20% um, uh, fat. This is generally a safe kind of a thing for, for most um, athletes. But there is one caveat, and that is that each individual person's unique, uh, you know, unique genetic expression is going to uh, give them some unique needs. So sometimes, like for instance, in my case, um, I could I survive on a much higher carbohydrate level. Once I drop my carbs to a 50-50 a ratio, I really stop growing. I really kind of have to keep my carbs a little a little higher. Uh, but and everyone's a little different. I have a lot of competitors and a lot of um, uh, athletes that I work with who have to. We can, I can keep them much lower, and they can still grow. So really, really, some of that's unique, but there's always that little deviation for everybody. All right, Ted, that's a great bit of advice, and thanks so much for sharing that with our viewers here. Well, thank you very much again for having me on the show. I appreciate it. It's always a pleasure. Thanks for tuning into the diner. Make sure you come back for some more episodes soon.